Lease Niantic technology under the codename Ingress has allowed ordinary citizens to interact with XM. Agents converged on Portland, Oregon. Another confrontation occurred in Milan, Italy. Following the events in San Francisco, it is clear that XM is a very real thing. Weapons will not always win a war. Sometimes it is the heart of men. And numbers. There's some things you need to know. Started playing as soon as I got the invite. Snap on the sneakers and just ran out of the house. We've been through any number of iterations of our strategies, what we're gonna do, where we're gonna be. Agent activity is spiking to an all-time high. There are so many kinds of people, and they're always friendly. The community is brilliant. I was not a gamer before. I've made so many connections in my local community that I would have never made otherwise. I think that the world's been ready for something like Ingress for a really long time. But what is Ingress? Ingress is a giant game of the capture the flag. Where you play a video game, but in real life. But it's not just two hills or something like that. It's throughout the world. There's nothing really like it out there. Ingress is a augmented reality game. Ingress is not a game. The line between reality and a game and the story get blurred. This is the kind of thing that everybody's always wanted to do. Like you bring video games into real life. Agents are being encouraged to report areas which feature unique works of art, architecture, or other unusually creative sites. is the central part of gameplay. Maybe there's 20 in your neighborhood, maybe there's 10. I've learned a lot of history based on the portals that I've seen. So you find yourself going in a lot of different places, checking out a lot of new and different things that you never would have before. I've probably lost about 15, 20 pounds at this point. It helps break down barriers of race and gender and everything else. It's about people gaming, not only from behind a computer screen, but in real life. This is a huge thing for the gaming industry and just for social networking in general. It's always evolving, and I feel like we're part of that evolution. Anything could happen, it's ingress, you know? The Enlightenment will win. We have to turn it off. Excuse me. There are certain things DICE attendees need to know about ingress, exotic matter, and the Niantic project, which, frankly, people have been covering up. Mr. Hankey, if I may. Susanna, go ahead. Uh, my name is Susanna Moyer, and I host a weekly news show called The Ingress Report. Now, despite attempts by mainstream media and certain covert agencies to suppress the story, there is no doubt that exotic matter is real and that it changes people and perhaps even human evolution. The question is whether these changes are good or bad. Now, there are two ideological factions, the enlightened who support XM and the resistance who fear it. Now, agents from both factions are converging here tonight at 5 p.m. They'll be struggling to control the exotic matter portals in this area, and I urge you all to join them. Don't stand by and let others define the course of human history. Just See and experience it for yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Susanna. Wrong video. There is much to do. Let's get to work. This is Susanna Moyer from the Ingress Report, coming to you live from the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, for the DICE 2014 Summit. As you can imagine, Las Vegas is a destination for agents from around the country and around the world. So I meet people nearly weekly from different locations. Finding new things that I never knew existed. Number four, St. Jude Heart Sculpture number two. about you but we have triumphed for a dice 2014 the total for the enlightened was 145 the total for the resistance was 630 <laughs> now, I know some of you might 
be aware or wondering about the body that was discovered in the desert today. Well, I just want to say that I am not in a position to discuss any details on that at this point. Thank you so much and good night.